Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Seth Naomi if you're new and on my channel I do beauty related videos like wig installs, wigs, my natural hair. I also do lifestyle content and I'm also vlogging. So if you like videos like that, please consider subscribing to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I revived this wig. Let me tell you, it was a complete disaster okay um there was glue and product left all over the frontal and i had even contemplated throwing the wig away but i was like okay let me just stop and try again so i was able to figure it out obviously and this is how she's looking she looks amazing if you ask me so in this video i'll be showing you how to revive your frontal how to clean it molded without having to use a hot comb and eventually I will use a hot comb but I'm going to show you how an easier way to do it um, just in case you don't have one um, and I'll also be showing you how I install it I won't be talking about the step-by-step -step process that I do to install my frontal because I will have a video up probably in like a week or two about the full and in-depth um, version of installation so I'll be talking about how to bleach knots how to pluck the front line how to um, do the ball cap method also how to actually install the wig so that video will be coming in about I want to say maybe a week or two don't hold me to it but it's coming before the end of March I promise if you guys want to see something like that make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I post a video okay let's get into this video Okay, I know you see this frontal looking crusty and dusty, but don't worry, we're gonna fix all that. So the first thing you want to do is obtain a container and fill it about halfway with either lukewarm or hot water. Next you're gonna take some dish detergent, so either Joy or Dawn, and you're just going to apply that to the frontal. You're gonna place it all over the frontal, make sure you get every single crevice, and you're gonna kind of like press it into the frontal just so that it'll have the best effect. Next, you're going to make sure that you fully submerge the wig in underwater and then you're going to close it and put it away. I would recommend putting it away for at least an hour, but I sometimes leave it up to three days. Okay, so after you've left it alone for some time, you're going to open it back up and we're going to take a look at the wig. The water is looking disgusting, I know, but that's how it's supposed to be. All that white stuff that you see on the frontal is just the glue and other products that you use during your previous install. So we're just going to take a rag, a towel, or an old t-shirt and just lightly but kind of roughly remove the product from the frontal. Next, it's time to wash the hair, but first I'm just going to rinse the hair out and remove any excess product that's on the lace. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the hair until it's completely clean. So next we're going to go in with my Tresemme shampoo and I absolutely love the Tresemme products for cleaning my wigs. I'm going to make sure that I apply the Tresemme shampoo all over the frontal um, and I'm going to scrub it just to make sure that I get everything out of it and that it's absolutely clean. Then I'm going to apply the shampoo to the rest of the hair to make sure that the hair is fully clean. I'm going to wash the hair for a total of two times just to be sure and then I'm going to do a final rinse and I'm not going to stop rinsing it until the water is clear. That's a good indication that the hair is clean. When washing the hair, don't forget to do the back. Also, I'm using a detangler brush just to detangle the hair so that there are no knots or anything inside of it. Next, I'm going in with my Tresemme conditioner and I'm just going to apply that to the whole head. Next, I'm going to mold the hair. 
So you want to make sure that you apply a good amount of product to the hair and use a comb to comb it back. This is going to ensure that the hair is nice and smooth and flat. That way you won't have to use a hot comb as much as you would usually. Next, I took the wig and I placed it on my head to find the exact part that I wanted to do. But this is the wig after that and before I even started using a hot comb. Next, I'm going to take my wax stick, apply it to the hair, and now I'm going to use the hot comb to just make it even more flat. Finally, I'm just going to go ahead and curl the hair. I was contemplating so many ways to style this wig. I wanted to do crimps. I also wanted to do flat iron curls, but, but ultimately, I just decided to go ahead and do the wand curls. So guys, explaining how to curl is extremely hard, but I'm just gonna show you here. I'm just wrapping the hair around the barrel, waiting for about 15 to 20 seconds, and then I'm gonna take the hair and hold it in my hand until it cools off. I almost forgot to mention, after you style the hair, like curling it, crimping it, however you're styling it, use got to be to maintain the curl. Hey guys, so now it's time for me to finally install the wig. I'm not going to show you guys exactly how I do it because I'm going to make an in-depth video. I just ordered a new wig, so I'll be doing an in-depth video about how I bleach the knots, how I do my ball cap method, and how I install, how I pluck that wig, and also how I install it. And that's going to be a very in-depth video, so I don't want to show you guys it and then spoil it for the next video so you guys are just gonna watch me do what i have to do i just did a video on how i maintain healthy natural hair um i'll put that in a card somewhere so if you want to go ahead and take a look at that video first just so you know like how to protect your hair under your wigs so let's get started Okay guys, so this is how we're looking. Is the part neat or what? Like it, it's giving and I'm super excited. I missed my wigs, okay? I missed it. I'll come and I'll show you guys the final product in the morning before I have to run to the appointment that I have. But this is how it's looking right now. The curls and everything is giving. The only thing that I really have to fix is the frontal and I have to do my edges. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. So hey guys, this is the final look um, of the hair. Um, I did do two curls at the top. Um, I really like how it came out. I haven't done a wig in a while and I, I'm always scared for how they're gonna come out the first time after I'm back, but it came out pretty good. Um, if you guys see like the discoloration, that's just the camera and the lighting. In person, it looks it looks natural like there's no color separation um i really need to buy like a ring light or something but right now i don't have that thank you guys so much for watching the video if you like the video or learned something don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video